Dominique, you're my friend. One? Well, hey everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One, and I am live at Epcot for Tranquil Tuesday. And we are starting on Soarin' Over California because this is the last day that this will be here, at least for a while. Maybe they'll bring it back again. But we're going to ride this a couple times tonight. Only took about 20 minutes the first time, so that wasn't bad. And here we are, we're getting ready. If they have any extra spots, they might bring us on, or we'll wait till the next one. But here we go. <coughs> and go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new and follow us on all the social media or Resort TV One on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Enjoy some amazing movie soundtracks here. My single rider, you're going to head on down. Okay. Let's see where they put us. It's your lucky day. You're going to row one. Oh, nice. Like B1? Uh, yep. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That worked out. <laughs> that worked out quite well. B1, guys. So obviously, I'll be super quiet on the ride and uh, let everybody just enjoy. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Bella. No, this is just soaring over California is leaving today. And it's being replaced with the one that was here before this, Soarin' Around the World. So this was first, then Soarin' Around the World, and now back to uh, Soarin' Around the World. Hello, welcome to My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little dudes. Next, fasten your seat belts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If small radiators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. <laughs> nice work, pal. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have the fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carrying on safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times. Anything else? Yeah. Nice Alright guys, yeah, so just to reiterate, Soarin' itself is not going anywhere. I don't know if there's going to be days added to change over. I haven't heard, but all they have to do is change the movie. So we'll see. And I'm sure it's just a preset on the computer for the motion, I don't bet, but it's not too big of a difference. <clears throat> if it is closed, it'll be like for one day or something. Oh, here we go. Enjoy the ride, guys. Find a place to put my backpack down, and off we go. I'm sorry? You mind sitting on this side? Oh, okay. Same, same kind of thing. Thank you for We are now conducting sure. our final systems check. Please stow all carry on items in the under seat compartment. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened during your flight and watch your children. Right. <laughs> now this is the last day for this one and then they change it back to the world. Okay, so the day is the last day. Yes. Yeah. 
Yep. I like World, but I just this one, this one has the nostalgic vibes. <laughs> Oh, are you? Okay. Hey, Coda Bear, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. <coughs> hey, Tanita. <laughs> yeah, same. It's also the Leaning Tower. And now, up here in this spot, we got a good spot, so this will be fine. It would be fine here, but yeah. Thank you. And you guys might hold on the seatbelt strap one more time. Perfect. During the flight, please hold on to all your sides. This is the spot. All right, guys, enjoy. Yeah, we're probably gonna go on this more than once. We'll see. The wait, wait wasn't bad. It was like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So. We late, we late. But oh, okay. Yes, it, it said 45. I was like, oh no. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait it out. But then it like it then it changed to 25 right yeah. when I got in line. Nice. So. That's good to see you, Coda. Everybody say hi to Coda. I guess we're trading this for California. I guess California's getting the California one soon. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Mystic Disney. Yeah, we do have a 360 one. Somebody in the chat was saying they thought it was maybe because the middle of Epcot's so different now from the world one, but then I guess they're bringing it back, so I guess that's not it. I thought maybe they would refilm the middle part. Yeah, that made that made sense to me. I thought, oh yeah, they got to refilm it once the middle is done, but I guess not, because it'll be totally different with the interventions fountain and everything gone. <laughs> yeah, it is. It looks great. It looks great, but it's sad that they got rid of it. Oh, for sure. That was cool. Like, right? It was cool. It really like made it. Right. Right. No. Whereas now it just looks like any like city. So we're in the town. Guys. We are ready for takeoff.
Uh, no, not me. I got to work. Jen will be here. <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah, Jen has got a media event tomorrow at Flowering Garden. So that'll be super cool. All right, so here we go. That was awesome. B1, guys. B1. Also, I had the uh, I had the bit rate all the way up. So that was super awesome. I'm sorry. I had the bit rate all the way up. Super cool. So we'll do that again. Hey, Chuck. Summer. Poppins Heart. Denise Mark. Yeah, I just got lucky. They had one spot open in B1, and they just... I didn't, even, I didn't even ask for it. They just... They just gave it to me. That was super cool. How many frequent flyer miles did we get? A lot. That's yeah, so right. I went for it and tried it with the full quality. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mickey. Traveler Mickey, $5. Um, evening Josh Soren is one of my favorites. Thanks for another great evening. Thank you, Traveler Mickey. Appreciate that. Hi, hey, Denise. Steven says, perfect. Hey, Christopher Robin. Yeah, it's all good, guys. Fun times. Should keep that and dump the other. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I think <clears throat> I like this one better, obviously. I think one of the things we have to think about is the projection quality. Definitely people that don't know it. Projection quality looks dated, so I, I wonder if they can remaster it somehow into digital or into you know higher camera quality or something. I don't know. Yeah, but I do think they should redo around the world at some point. Hey, Bob, Leslie, Spider Bro, love WW, the, the Grudge, Sword of New Heights. So yeah, we'll see what the wait time is. We'll. I wouldn't mind walking around a little bit while it's still light, but we'll see. That's such a great ride. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like the new, I feel like it's going to be, can anybody tell on the app, does it show open tomorrow? If that's the case, they're just going to switch it overnight. Hey, Carly. Hey, Tony. I do know that, you know, soundtrack is definitely better in that one. It's the Jerry Goldsmith from the beginning. Hey, Terry. That's awesome. You're going to be with your best friend. You're going to have a great time. Hey, Allie. Hey, Amy. Hey, Drake. Just off work. Nice. Welcome in. <clears throat> and definitely subscribe if you're new, guys. We do these live streams all the time. We're almost to 188,000. We're about 50 away from that, so that's fun. So maybe tonight we'll hit 100, 188,000. We only need about 50, 50 more. So if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, now is, as they say, now is the time. Now is the best time. So it shows Soren. Still 25, so we'll come back here in a little bit and do that. I feel like that's not bad. I want to see in the front here. They I don't think they changed anything with the signage. Or did they change the signage up front here? to show over California. Just curious. Let's see. It just says now taking off. I wonder if they had an around the world one that they did and they took that off. You guys remember that they have an around the world sign and they just took it off for this? Oh, I don't know. Double check that you're subbed. Watch, watch while I start my new job with Seattle YMCA, nice. Fun fact, Kyle says, I like the Soren more than the Soren over California more than the modern. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Oh, my goodness, Chuck. He says, no selfie, but he sent $100 super chat. Thanks for the content. 11 days on our Disney countdown and no selfie. Well, thank you, Chuck. I appreciate it. I appreciate that so much. It's you. Remember me? Yeah. How are you? I'm here for the last day, too. Oh, are you really? For the last day of Soren? Yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm Hey, have fun, okay? <laughs> All right, so yeah, I don't know. I guess let's go walk around a little bit if we can. Okay. All right, guys. 
Yeah, Chuck, thank you so much for that. That is very, very kind. Very, very generous. Also, it's going to switch just as it's, he doesn't see it closing tomorrow, so it's going to be a switch. So it's a sticker over the old sign. Okay. So that's what it is then. I just wondered if they had put that on there because honestly, I didn't know. Remind Hoppers to make sure they're subscribed. I just checked and I was unsubscribed. Yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Hey, Gino. We could do Living with the Land. I'm trying to decide. Do we want to do that now or later? I guess we're already here. We're going to come back for Soren. I kind of like, I don't know. I sort of wanted to ride it while we were still, or I sort of wanted to walk around while it was still light. Just get a little stroll. Let's go outside and do a little stroll and we'll come back. Hey, Jeffrey Pop. What happened? Uh, hey, WDW Mom. Matt, Chloe. Gino. David. Zano. Real Rapunzel. <clears throat> Let's see. Annette, hello. All right. Hey, Blessed Bee. I'm glad we got to see it when we went last month. California is near and dear to us, lived there for 13 years. Yeah, it's such a great one. Such a great version of the attraction. All right. Hey, Kristen. They should redo them both. Yeah, it would be nice if they had both. All right. Hey, Joe. Hey, Vicky. No, I don't know why. I'm just like kind of wanting to do a little strolly stroll. That's kind of what we do on Tranquil Tuesday. But we'll be back. Oh, yes. We will be. Just got back yesterday from Disney. Miss it already. Totally understand. I'm um, going to the opening of Flower and Garden Festival. Do you know if Jenna will be there? Yes, she will. She'll be um, with the media event tomorrow morning. She is feeling better. She just has... It just kind of comes and goes a little bit. So, luckily hers doesn't seem like it's as bad as what mine was, but it just kind of comes and Thanks goes. For the education. Oh, sure. Thank you. Hey, Eli. Any new topiaries? Lots of new topiaries. Yeah, and they're already mostly up. I don't know if they're new, but there seems like there's more this year. So... And there's like a topiary trail. So Jenna will have to do that for you. Cynthia says, go ahead and stroll. We will. We shall. And I also want to thank our members. All the channel members, we appreciate you guys so, so very much for supporting the channel. And we also appreciate our platinum uh, platinum members. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. Marmar. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, good to see you. You too. I was on this earlier and we got vacated out of the building. Oh, really? Wow, it must have been a fire alarm something. Yeah, the scooter was stuck inside for an hour. Oh no, that's so no good. I couldn't go anywhere. Wow. Anyway, we got through it. Yeah, that's, uh, I just rode Soren, so all is well. Sounds like you're feeling better. I am. Yeah, it just, uh, this four weeks ago that I started feeling bad, so that was the longest little... I don't know, I've talked to several people that had this thing, and you feel nasty for three to five days like a normal cold, and then this cough just will not go away. And I even dipped back down into it. I actually felt actually felt better. And then like three or four days later, I felt nasty again. And so I don't know what it was, but I went to the doctor a couple times and they gave me two different antibiotics. And I don't know, that seems to have kicked it. Big C, was it. No, negative well, for COVID. Good. Yeah. So that's why, that's what the doctor was like. Well, have you tested? I said, yeah. So he said, well, okay, well, he said, well, it could be either, <clears throat> it could be either bronchitis or a sinus infection. And I was like, well, I don't know. So he just gave me an antibiotic anyway. So no, I don't know. No. Fun. no. Yeah, you too. Did you want to say hi on the stream? Sure, yeah. Mar Mar. <laughs> hi. From, uh, where are you from? I'm from Burnsville, Minnesota. Uh, okay, Minnesota. Very Burnsville cool. Burnsville was in the news recently. We oh. lost some police officers. Oh, no. Three of them. Oh, my. And it was just awful. So That's too our, bad. Our little community is just trying to heal up. Yeah. Right now, you know? Oh, my goodness. It's kind of tough. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Anyway, I'm well, sorry to hear that. Yeah, good. To, it's nice to meet you, though, in person. Have we met before? Okay, okay. I know you've been in the chat, so I, I recognize your name from the chat. Yeah, I'm surprised Jenna's not here. <clears throat> Usually on Tuesdays, it's just me. She's actually going out tomorrow morning to do Flower and Garden tomorrow. Oh, first day. Yeah, she. we got invited to the media preview event, sure. all that, so I couldn't take a day off work, and so she's going to take care of it. Awesome. 
I might see her because I'll be bopping between here and Hollywood Studios. Oh, very cool. Yeah. I'm sure you will see her. Yeah. Well, good to see awesome. you. Awesome. Yeah, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your night. Yep, yeah, you too. Okay. Hey, Coda. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Park Hoppers. Thanks for being here, guys. Let's stroll. This loop, man, this, this audio loop is growing on me. I mean, I know I already liked it, but it's like, I like it even more. Like, I'm starting to get used to it. Yeah, we were here <clears throat> Saturday. I know doing a lot of Epcot lately, but I don't know. I like Epcot. Oh, I was going to thank our Platinum members. Guys, we do have awesome Platinum members. And they are people who pledge $50 a month to the channel, which is awesome, through YouTube memberships. Spider-Man, Big Guy, Jack Sparrow, Chuck Polly, Energy Entertainment, Jayla Moxley, Go Mini, Sikander Durrani, Will Miller, Christopher Black, Amy Moore, James Hahn, Maker Emily, Ali Verismo, and Alan J. You guys really, really help more than you know. You make it possible for us to keep going, and we appreciate it so, so very much. So thank you for all the support. Hey, JJ Mickey. Hey, Big Movie Fan, $5 from Big Movie Fan. Thanks for the great images. You're very welcome, Big Movie Fan. And Beth, $5 from Beth, just checked one of your old streams where it said, now taking flight. It says around the world in big letters. Ah, huh, so they did change it, Beth. So maybe they have a plan to change that overnight. Well, thank you so much for that. Thank you, Beth, for the super chat and thank you for the information. I also need to clear up a misunderstanding too here in a second. Hi. Hi, Josh. How are you? Good. I'm Annette. We watch you all the time. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Can we get her a selfie? Of course. Sure? Of course, of course yeah. Okay. Oh, I appreciate yes, that. I do. do you guys want to say hi on the stream? Yes. You got the yes. matching shirts on. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Very cool. Margarita Day. Yes. You know, that's true. Is, wait, is it National Margarita Day? No, it was last week. We're gonna well, celebrate, celebrate it today then. Yes, okay. We're going to pretend. I mean, pretty much. Actually, I will tell you what today is. Today is actually National Retro Day. Uh -huh. At least according to Steph that, and my wife, that she found this. So I have to premiere a retro video tonight in honor of Retro Day. Oh, cool. And we got to ride the original Soren, so that was retro. Yes. So we're going to ride it for the second time. Oh, good. Yeah, it was only 20, 25 minutes, so not too bad. Perfect. And they they stuck me in B1, so that was nice as a single rider. Oh, that so that was nice. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, it's nice to meet you and happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye, Josh. Bye. Bye. Hey, Tony. Seven degrees in Michigan felt like Florida. That's nice. That's very very close to the same temperature because. I don't know, I think we hit we hit 79 today was the high, or 70 or 80 maybe, but it's very close. They wasted time switching it. Yeah, I don't think it's much of a, I don't, see, that's what I think. I think that now they've done it, I don't think it's that big of a deal to switch it. I mean, I don't know anything, you know, I'm, I'm not a, not a Imagineer or engineer or any of the above, but I'm just wondering if they've got it down to a science, if they can do it in one night. If all they have to do is switch the sign and switch out the movie and whatever like if they've got it all programmed in I wonder if they just change the settings on everything and it just goes with everything being computerized those trees look really nice with all the flowers on them all right anyway I do have a um, I do have a retro video that I'm gonna premiere hello <laughs> I do have a retro video I'm gonna premiere later Georgia was 73 degrees that's awesome Margaritas are tranquil Super nice in Indy. Nice to hear that. <clears throat> so, um, I did something fun on my uh, retro channel. My last video that I premiered last week got over 13,000 views, and it's still going. So this week, I'm going to be premiering something new. Uh, I installed Windows on my iPhone because I did. Because I'm crazy. There you go. So this is going to premiere later tonight. It's only 23 minutes long. It's a shorter. I usually do long videos on the channel. This is a short one. So definitely tune in and see how I install Windows on my iPhone because it's really fun. And it's completely useless and I, that's the best thing about it. Like, it's just fun. It's literally just fun. That's the only reason I did it. It serves no practical purpose. <laughs> so it's super fun. But anyway, thanks for uh, uh, hanging around after this stream at 9.30 for the premiere. And it is National Retro Day like I was telling those ladies over there. So National Retro Day. Yay. Windows 3.11 for work groups. I know. It actually doesn't matter. I could have gotten regular Windows, but that was just the easiest ISO image to find from the CD, so that's fun. Hello, Jules Love Donald. How are you? Now, see, I remember this time. Jules has these uh, really cool TV stand minis that she sent us uh, in our mail last mail stream. 
and I believe it's TV minis dot um, dot Etsy dot com or something like that. Is that right? TV minis dot Etsy dot com. You can go check those out. <laughs> hey, Kathleen. Hey, Noel. I just want to stroll a little bit and then we'll go back in and do living with the land. But it's been a great day so far. Hey Tiffany, happy Tranquil Tuesday, working late, so be in ninja mode, no worries. Hey Paul. Dan says, today is my birthday and it's also National Polar Bear Day, nice. Oh, so I need to, I need to correct a misconception. <clears throat> I didn't realize Apparently, I was misled. I'm not sure who told me this, but I was misled into thinking um, that the, uh, the saucer, the spaceship, above the um, ice state, or above the, the um, Coke cooling thing, or the, the Coke cooling uh, store, whatever it is, the Tomorrowland, the spaceship that's over the Coke stand in Tomorrowland, I said it's from Flight of the Navigator. But even in my brain, I was like, that really doesn't quite look like in Flight of the Navigator. And uh, apparently, my, my doubts were correct. I shouldn't have been saying that because apparently it's not from Flight of the Navigator. Um, I saw WDW Streamfinder sent me something. And it was from the Imagineer who designed the Tomorrowland refurb. And he said he designed that uh, flying saucer to look like Jetson style. And so um, it's actually from just his imagination. It's not from Flight of the Navigator. He said he never saw that movie. So that is a misconception. So I thought, well, I can do my part to dispel that mi misconception. And I'm sorry I helped spread it. I honestly thought I read that from a credible source, but I guess I was wrong. Wow, thank you for the super chats, guys. You guys are so generous. Four ninety nine from Jeff Fry. Can you tell my mom happy birthday? She really loves your streams. Her name is... Oh, I've got to... I've got to pull it up here. Boy, the super chats are being cut off like crazy. Hold on. Sorry, Jeff. Our, our app is really acting up with the super chats. All right, here we go. So, four ninety nine. Can you tell my mom happy birthday? Her name is Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate that. So thank you, Kelly, for the super chat. Here, let's go watch the uh, Spaceship Earth show. So thank you, Kelly. And thank you, Jeff Fry. Happy birthday, Kelly. <laughs> we also got a $2 super chat from Vodka Fall. $2, have there any rumors of new Unfortunately. Yeah, I think I got you. Yeah, I got most of it, actually. Thank <laughs> you. All right, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Have a
I'm gonna miss most of it. Oh well. Can't really see most of it anyway. All right. I should have just stayed back there. That's all right. Yeah, and somebody was talking about, um, Rob, I think, was talking about wish YouTube would make a button to go live. You actually, there actually is a button. It's not really a button, but you just tap on the word live. Tap or click on the word live. So, like, if you're on desktop, the word live will be gray if you're watching it and it's not live. Just click on it. If you're on a mobile device, the word live will be, um, again, gray, but you just tap on it and it should jump right back to it. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm Andrea. We'll watch you all the time. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's awesome. You guys want to say hi on the stream? Say hi. Ears, those are cool. I would love those. So Very cool. I guess it, oh, wait a minute. It's like, sorry, hold on. Nobody's seeing you. There we go. No, it's it's like, it does that sometimes. There we go. I think it's happy now. Anyway, you guys, your ears are awesome. And um, and you guys having fun so far? Yes. Awesome. Okay. That'll be awesome. So you got to stay uh, staying warm. I guess, I don't know. Somebody was saying it's like warm, at least in Michigan. I don't know about New York. but. Really? Wow. Warm front, even down here. Absolutely, for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, so for much. sure. It was nice meeting you. Oh yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. <laughs> Take care. All right, guys. Say hi to Veronica and Jorge. Hey, Ginger, Fantasmic, and Hollywood Studios. Very nice. It's funny because it's the same music from the uh, the show that we just watched. It is indeed a beautiful sunset. Hey, this pod, Lawrence, how are you? Lots of hoppers tonight. Look at that. All right. Hey guys, let me do a really quick airplane mode because my phone clearly decided it doesn't like the signal here. So let me just do a real quick airplane mode. I'll be right back. It's intentional lag. All right, and we're back. Yeah, my phone just gets stuck sometimes, but it comes back if I just airplane mode it. Hey Nia, happy Tuesday. <clears throat> so beautiful. Just had a job interview, really hoping I can land this one. Awesome, RJ. I hope you do too. Yep, I hope you do too. Yeah, I don't know. It is a nice day for sure. See if we can get a good view here. 
It'll be cool when the commuter core hall is open. It's definitely coming along. That'll really complete this area nicely. I, I do think it's a nice, I do think it's a nice uh, area here. It's just, it just takes some getting used to. It is cool to see Figment over there. It's a nice touch for the flowering garden. All right. Let's go take a look at Communicore Hall. Hello, Ann. Hey, uh, if you guys can turn your caps lock off, we appreciate you being here, but the caps lock messes with anybody who has a uh, text-to-speech readers, so we appreciate that. Well, I guess I get so close you can't really see it, but it looks like it's coming along. Parks at Twilight are the best, indeed. All right, I think now that it's getting dark, let's go back to the land. Let's go back to the land and see what we can see here. I'm kind of curious to see what the next uh, Spaceship Earth show is here in just a minute. But, um, so let's wait just a second. We'll just watch it from back here if we need to. And, uh, then, we'll, and then we'll go to the land. We have one minute, so that's not a big deal. Hi, how are you? I to track you down. Yeah, you found me. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm Good. Kelly. Nice to meet you. Watch you all the time. Oh, awesome. <laughs> you got the whole crew. Family. Very cool. <laughs> That's awesome. You guys having a good trip so far? Yeah, yeah. Just stay? got here today. Okay, very cool. You want to say hi on the stream? Sure. You guys going to come with me? Uh, oh, hey, Brent. <laughs> say hi. 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 <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Awesome. We're hoping to meet Jenna, maybe mom and dad, but... Yeah, um, you know, Jenna will be here tomorrow for the Flower and Garden Festival. Yeah, we're going to be here too. Okay, so you probably see her around. We're going to be all of you. She's not going to be live, but she's going to be doing, uh, you know, just walking around showing the whole thing, so, yeah. Great. This is the old school imagination. I love this. Oh, we've been here since 2019. Oh, wow, it's changed a little. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. yeah. Nice awesome. Well, nice to meet you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Appreciate it so much. Jenna and and everybody. Yeah, we're yeah. have a good time. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Yeah, you you guys too. Thanks for saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she likes the lights. That's cool, right? <laughs> hey, Britt. So glad they still have this one.
it goes. And Britt was asking where this is. It's actually, yes, this is directly where the old fountain was, right here. And no, it actually is about the same brightness, um, the same light level right now as it looks on the stream. So it's not that, not that, uh, not that dark yet. So you can see one of the former Interventions buildings, Britt, where the new Connections restaurant and uh, also <clears throat> the Creations shop are. And you've been to those. So there was a wall here before when you were here uh, last year. So anyway, but yeah, this is so this is just right behind Spaceship Earth, and this is where the new this is where the old fountain used to be. This is cool. This is an Epcot symbol, which is super cool. I do want to see that show again tonight. I want to make sure I get to see it from the front. Hi, how are you? Good, I made you. Oh yeah, nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah, I met Jenna yesterday. What's that? I met Jenna yesterday. You met Jenna yesterday? Very yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. You having a good time tonight? Yeah. Where are you from? North Carolina. North Carolina. Sorry, sorry, I don't remember where everybody's from. <laughs> okay. September. Okay. Very cool. Of course, of course. Yeah, here. You got a good spot right here. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Of course. Gosh, I've been watching you. And you have the channel too? Yeah. Give it to you one second. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. It's super that, fun. That, that, um, she finally met Jenna. Yeah. That, those two channels that you, your wife does, they're, they're amazing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, we have fun with all that. You know, I don't, I don't, I probably make too many videos, but <laughs> we have a lot of fun with it. I told you that I watch your channel too. And yeah. They're all, your, your chicken jars are, are amazing. Awesome. Well, that's so good. Well, and where do, um, you guys, uh, how long are you here for? You already said where you were from. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. We came okay. Back for the run. Yeah. Um, friends of ours did the 13.1 half marathon. Nice. And Sunday, so we, we came back for that. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. Very cool. Well, it, yeah, the, the uh, marathons are cool. One of these days, I'll do maybe a 5 or 10K, and we'll see if I can handle that. Start, start with a start small. She's gonna do a 5K. I think I could do that, no problem. But yeah. the, but the rest of it, I have to work up to it. <laughs> well, it's so good to see you guys again. Enjoy the rest of your night. All right, guys, we're gonna see if we can get down to um, um, living at the land. Yeah. Anyway, this is such a neat area. It really is. I mean, it just it takes a little getting used to, and not everybody likes it. But you know, it's it's really cool. I think, and I love the music so much. There's some good photo spots too, like this one, Britt. Just some neat, you know, some neat opportunities with framing with these things. <laughs> oh yeah, Mimi Carroll, sorry, there was some stuff. Yes, Mimi Carroll, member, four months Resort TV One, Hopper Silver. I love these Tranquil Tuesday streams. Thank you so much, Mimi Carroll. Like the food in the new building. Yes, it's so good, Britt, it really is. And for Ket, $9.99. Have a cookie for me to help me celebrate my birthday tomorrow. I love being there when I can't be there. Awesome, Phuket. So good. All right, let's go ride living with the land. So, um, been a nice night so far. It's just nice that it stays warm. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. So thank you so much for Kat. Happy birthday tomorrow. All right, guys, I need to, are we lagging at all? No. I need to uh, switch connections real quick. So stay tuned. Not switch connections. I actually need to check the app really quick. So stay tuned. I'm going to check the app. I'll be right back.
Oh, hey, Streamfinder. We were just talking about that whole uh, that whole thing with the uh, flight of the navigator thing. I did not realize that, and I definitely stand corrected on that. I said I don't know who told me that to begin with, but I am definitely going to be putting out the right story from now on. All right, I will be right back, guys. <laughs> just realized I missed watching Soren. I need to go and rewatch that. Our Soren is about to switch over to California. That's awesome, Brett. <laughs> we must be sending the film to you. I'm just kidding. Yes, it is 1.17. I logged out to check. Hey, Dad. Woohoo. <laughs> Sorry about the different uh, switcheroos all over the place, guys. Let's do Labeling with the Land. Then we'll go back and do Soarin' again. Because it's our last night, and I'm going to do it twice tonight. Then we'll maybe go watch. I want to go watch the uh, Figment show one more time. I'm trying to think if I can figure out how many shows there are. We're just going to be every 30 minutes. Not your fault. I have heard others wax poetic about that spaceship. Thanks for helping set the record straight. Yeah. I don't know who I heard it from. That's the thing. I think I probably heard it on somebody else's stream. Or not stream, but probably video. Dave D. just became a member. Thank you, Dave D., for becoming a member. That is so much appreciated. Appreciate that very much. One of the moppers can tell me what kind of member, because that still doesn't show yet, but we're working on it. And bronze membership. Thank you, Allie, for pointing that out. Appreciate it so much. All right, let's go ride. Live with the land. Thank you, RJ, as well. We got almost a walk on here, so we'll go check that out. Britt and I were chatting before the stream. It's good to have him back in the chat. He's been working really hard on restoring a classic Ford. So that's fun. I will seem to join when you're heading on Living with the Land. Michael, that's, that's good luck. That's what that's called. It's a great ride. I know you agree. I know you like it. $2 from FFD55. Thank you, FFD55, for that super chat. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you, thank you. One, can I wait for the front till the next boat? Is that okay? Just wait over here? Or? Okay. Hey, Fantasy Sports Boss. Was Adam said, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to blame anybody. We love Adam. We all make mistakes. <laughs> I definitely did. You guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you're new. If you subscribe, you get notified every time we go live and have a new video. All the things. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, yeah, so we're only 47 away from 188K. I was watching someone else's stream and people were able to like someone's super chat. Yeah, I think you can. Uh, I was, I'm able to like people's super chats. <coughs> old cars are like old computers. Nothing can match that sound when you first fire it up for the first time or hear that chong when it starts up. Oh yeah. Stream finder. I'll tell you the best old computer startup. <clears throat> My Tandy's pretty good. But even better than that, as far as a power button, the original IBM XT had the best power button. It's just a chonky power button. It just goes clonk when you turn it on. It's so satisfying. I'm not going to get one because they're too big, but it's just really cool to watch somebody else's video of those things. They have the biggest power button ever, or biggest power switch ever. So yeah, hey mom and dad. All right, enjoy the enjoy the ride, everybody. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that power switch was like a circuit breaker. It was huge. If you don't believe me, look it up. IBM XT power switch. Anyway, all right. Enjoy the ride. <coughs> Discovery 
better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being.
While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these stables is an important goal of research around the world. on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses in restaurants here at the land every year. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, EPCOT scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of food that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then, will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey to our living laboratory. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the behind the scenes walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratory. your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop.
I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Oh, that's fine. You have a good day, okay? All right, guys, I am going to use the restroom and then um, we'll go right somewhere. So let me do a quick BRB and then we will ride storm. Let me get my BRB ready. I didn't have it ready. It was really cool, that Alice in Wonderland table they have back there. Sorry, I didn't have it ready. Yeah, I, I guess that's for Flower and Garden. Uh, the uh... the Alice in Wonderland thing. That was really cool. All right, hold on just a second. Let me see what I can do here. But yeah, I can't wait. Let's see what the store and wait time is. Hopefully it's not too bad. Okay. Always love living with the land, though. There we go. Wait, shake what off? I'm confused. <laughs> All right. There we go. Sorry about that. I didn't have the BRB ready and I needed to get that ready. So, sorry, I was just figuring that out. There we go. I got it. <laughs> I had to start it on my home computer. All right, we're good now. So let me go to the restroom and then we will go on Sora. That'll be awesome. All right, be right back.
All right, there we go. We're back. Sorry about that. I was having trouble with my BRB again. Okay. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. <coughs> oh, somebody, okay. Yeah, so the guy who said was killing the vibe. Yeah, so. <laughs> no, that's why I said have a good day. No, it was fun. Um, because I, at first I was like, oh my gosh. Usually somebody posts a comment like that and they're not actually behind me, but I just turned around to see. <clears throat> and then the guy waved at me. And then I was like, okay, whatever. Well, then as we were getting off, um, as we are getting off, his wife says to me, his wife goes, yeah, our kids are obsessed with YouTube and now they're watching the stream instead of watching the ride. And, and, and he, and he said something about, yeah, that's why I posted the comment. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, okay, have a good day. So yeah, no, there was no, there was no problem. <laughs> Nobody was upset. I know I thought the same thing. I was like, what? What's going on? I thought the, the people talking behind me were killing the vibe more than me. <laughs> but no, they were, they, were, they were just having a good time. <laughs> That's my thing. I was like, talking kills the vibe more than that. <laughs> and everybody talks on rides now. But no, he was just kidding. All right. No, like I said, if they would have been rude to me, I wouldn't have said have a good day. <laughs> I would have just walked off. They were just kidding. They had a little bit of a British accent, so it might have been hard to understand what she said on the stream. Hey, Kelly. Then we said, shake it off. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and I thought, oh, and then I realized, I was like, oh, because I was quiet for a while too, so maybe you guys thought I was mad. No, I was trying to figure out the BRB because I didn't have it set up right. So that's why I was quiet. Thank you. I grew up in Redlands. I love this music loop, it is so good. And it's longer than the California one too. Actually, I actually have this on my uh, on my phone. I don't know what all these different uh, movies are though. Somebody can maybe post in the chat if you know what this movie is. Um, my crazy grown up life, congratulations, four months of Resort Hopper Platinum. Happy Tuesday and hope Jenna is feeling better. Yes, thank you so much. Appreciate that, yes she is. Thank you, my crazy grown up life. That's, that's, that's so generous. Four months of Resort Hopper Platinum. So you guys have a lot more freedom here, right? That's what I love about Thank you so much. All right. The food rock stage is in the line. I'm not, I guess so. Oh yeah, for sure, Brad. It's a great loop. Oh, are they? I haven't tried to Yeah. Really great. See, we used to fly through all the Legends of the Fall is such a good soundtrack too. And it was not stopped. Let me see. Oh, Mike. Uh, Mike M became a new Patreon member. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate that. <laughs> That's weird. My crazy grown-up life, it shows, um, maybe I haven't been reading your name as part of the Platinum members list. If that is the case, I apologize. It wasn't showing on my list, but I see it here too. So I'm sorry if there was a glitch. Maybe there's a glitch in the matrix, but thank you so much. Head for home in three hours for my week off. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Top three perks of staying in Pali. Uh, it's beautiful. There's a monorail and you're close to Magic Kingdom. Gonna try for B1? I guess I could ask. When I look at Disney World to see who's streaming, my cousin goes, What are you doing watching live streams? You're at Disney World, you don't need YouTube. <laughs> People don't get it. Nice meeting you a few weeks ago at MK Fireworks from Oklahoma City. Thanks. Yeah. 
When my daughter was much younger, she would go around Disney on her vacations filming. She was trying to imitate, imitate Jenna. That's awesome. It was, we were trying to get the Santa We're so excited about it, and then we didn't even make it. Indecent proposal. Oh, okay. Oh, you upgraded from gold a few days ago. Oh, okay. Well, I will make sure you get on the. I'll make sure you get on the list. Thank you so much. Yeah, I have to re. I re. Um, update the list every once in a while. We're only forty-one subscribers away from 188k, only 41 away. We also have a premiere coming up on Retro TV One Tech <coughs> right after the stream. <coughs> I'm gonna show you how I put Windows 3.1 on my uh, iPhone. Hey Paul. Okay, so let's see. Oh, also want to thank our awesome sponsor, MickeyTravels.com. I was just chatting with them here a minute ago. MickeyTravels.com. Uh, you can book your next trip here, right here to Walt Disney World on MickeyTravels.com. Go check them out. You can also go to MickeyBlog.com to learn about all of the latest Disney news. That's MickeyBlog.com and MickeyTravels.com. Go check them out. Taylor's studying for exam. Good luck. Yeah, Jenna's going to do a vlog at the media event tomorrow. Ten days till our Disney vacation. Nice. Hey, David. Late night practice is his team is in the state semifinals. That is so. Yeah, he was telling me that the other night. That is so great. Big congrats to to Iz. Big congrats. <clears throat> That's pretty amazing. The Disney Tooth Fairy. Apparently, someone around the world comes back tomorrow. They're just going to change it overnight. I'm still at work until 6:30 p.m. Alaska time. Then we'll grab a flight home. Oh, wow. <coughs> I remember when Windows 3.1 came out in the early 90s, we played the banana toss game. And there was also was that ski-free game, too. Stayed home sick today from work. And said, if Josh goes live for Tranquil Tuesday, I will be cured. That's awesome, Joe. Hope you feel better. So, yeah, again, guys, MickeyTravels.com. I guess I love Disney news better, too. <coughs> we should be going here pretty soon. only an hour okay that's good yep got windows 3.1 and an iphone <laughs> not for any reason just because it was fun i actually still have it on here but i'm not going to show you you have to watch the video all this music is so dreamlike the changeover is just loading the program and maybe some synths. There also is the front, they're going to change the front sign. Oh, that'd be awesome, Roman and Alessandra, if they have a new Soren and they just unveiled it. Yeah. I guess they could do that if they really wanted. Is among the clouds. Well, that definitely makes sense. John Williams. One night I upgraded from 3.0 to 3.1 and I turned all the footnotes on my wife's doctoral thesis proposal into Greek. It was a long night. Oh, I bet it was. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I bet you had to stay up and fix that. <coughs> Uh, yeah, Britt, they do the game still projected on the wall. So, also, speaking of, um, whoever did this loop really did a great job of, like, making the music all fit together like it all is from the same movie, and also just making it climax and making it soar at the same speed every time. So good. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Hey, Amy. Hey, Nikki. Also, I'll have to tell you a story. I was talking to one of my, I was talking to my wife's cousin the other day. Uh, I may be in C this time, or it may be in A this time, A3. We'll see. Oh, one. One. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, see, B one's fine. So, um, Steph's cousin <clears throat> is a professor right now in a university, and he's actually getting ready to retire. But he was telling me a story about he used to have an old Apple II, and he wrote his doctoral dissertation on an Apple II. And apparently, his daughter was messing around in the room while he was writing it, and, and he turned away, away for a minute, and he was like, he was like, oh, sweetie, don't touch that. And then all of a sudden, his wife said he heard a blood-curdling scream from, from the room upstairs, and she ran upstairs because he thought, Oh my gosh, the baby fell. The she was a toddler. Oh my gosh, she fell. She did something, you know, whatever. No. Apparently, she had either unplugged or turned off the computer. And when she got upstairs, he was like... When, she, when his wife got upstairs, he was just like looking crazy like, I lost everything. You know, and he's like screaming. I don't want to scream in line, but he's like screaming like, I lost everything. And like, you know, using some choice words, of course. Like his whole dissertation, or at least most of it was gone. And he's he's holding his daughter kind of out in front of him, like she turned it off. And his wife was like, "Okay, give me the child." <laughs> it was just really funny at the time. Funny now, it's like, oh my gosh, can you believe that? Can you imagine? Because on those older computers, if you didn't specifically save it to the disc, that was going to be that's that's it. It's gone. So whereas nowadays, you know, modern computers, they save it as you're going. You know, Google Drive saves every single letter you type, including all the changes. Even Microsoft does that now. So, you know, if you write it on the apps, it saves like every couple of letters you type. But back in the day, you had to hit save and it had to go on a disk. Wouldn't that be crazy? Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Next, fasten your seatbelts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. That's worked, pal. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry-on item, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. Yeah, have a nice flight. Alrighty, we're going to start with round three, followed by two, followed by one. Come on in. <coughs> all right. Amy uh, said she couldn't renew her membership. I'm sorry, Amy. I'm not sure why that is. You might want to um, contact YouTube support and see what's going on. The other thing you might try is delete, is, well, try um, logging out and logging back in. Sometimes that helps. Log out, log back in, force close your app. Try all those things. Maybe even delete your YouTube app and try again or try from a different device. That might do it. And if that doesn't work, then definitely uh, talk to YouTube support.
Oh, thanks, Kelly. Yeah, me too. I love this one. Enjoy, everybody. Funny story, yeah. Wasn't funny at the time for the poor guy, but you learn to save. <laughs> Your bag don't fit because it's the size. Can I wear it on the front of me? No, it has to go in the basket. Yes, of course it is. We are now conducting our final systems check. Please stow all carry-on items in the under-seat compartment. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened during your flight and watch your children. Bienvenidos. Favor de colocar sus efectos personales en el compartimiento debajo del asiento. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón de seguridad abrochado durante el vuelo y vigilen a los That's right, it's like a giant erector set. I see it right there. It's really cool how it lifts the things, but yes, they actually designed the model of this on an director set. Enjoy, guys. Yes, Rochelle, me too. You just say hold on to the items, and I have a wrist strap on too, so I'm protected.
on behalf of our entire flight crew, thanks for soaring with us. To unfasten your seatbelt, just push down on the red button on your right. Be sure to gather all your carry-on items from the underseat compartment and exit to your right. Ah, so good. I like that ride so much. We may have to do it again, I don't know. We may have to do that again. I think we do. I actually kind of think we do. What do you guys think? I mean, all these other rides will be back. I love the trivia Brit is putting out there. It's so good. They had to do it in one take. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, because I'm sure they can't just keep doing that. So they had to make sure all the cameras and everything were working that whole time. That's so crazy. <clears throat> and Britt, can we, can we confirm? Can we confirm that is Eisner hitting the golf ball? Because I've heard both ways. I've heard that it is and that it isn't. And there's the games, by the way. Can't soar enough. That's right, Stream Finder. <laughs> I don't think anybody can be too upset if we do it again. We got plenty of time. So here's my plan. We're probably not going to get to do a whole lot tonight of different things, but I want to do this one more time, and then I want to go watch the Imagination Show on Spaceship Earth, and then I want to watch the fireworks. That's my plan. So Ryan, it's not a new video. Um, that's the original Soren. It's actually somebody was saying it was shot in 2001, so it's been around for a long time. They changed it to Soarin' on the Roll back in uh, 2016, and they've changed it back for the 100th anniversary, and tomorrow it goes back to World. Everybody saying again and again, okay. We can do it. It's just so good. Everything I've heard and said it was him. Okay, cool. Hey, Coda. Like, can they do a soaring around the USA? Yeah, I, you know. I, mean, I can see, like, around the world because of the countries of the world. <clears throat> but, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Here, check this out. I want to show the sign really quick before we go on it again. So the sign out here... Apparently they, they changed it. It did say around the world. <laughs> so here, look. Now taking flight apparently was changed to around the world. So that's kind of crazy. There you go. Hey, DNA family. Of Music has a playlist called Disney Parks Playlist Soaring Around the World that has all the music you listen in line. It's 26 songs, runs two hours. Nice. Hey, Dan. I'd like to see Sora. Yeah, I'd like to see that too, Mark. We'll be getting the new Epcot ending. I don't think so. I don't think so because remember, if they did that now, you'd still have Communicor Hall would still not be done and you'd still be showing, you know, walls basically. So I don't think they're going to redo it till it's done, which is weird. So tomorrow they're going to put back in an ending to the show. Unless maybe they use video editing and they just put clouds there or something. I think they did that. Didn't they put like cloud cover over it or something? I don't know. Either way, yes, we're going to get that something different. We'll see. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts of the loop right here. This climax is so good. Listen. It's got to be one of the greatest phrases the music ever composed. It's so good. It's just so effective. Hey, Cindy. Hello from Poughkeepsie. Spoken like a true musician, I agree. <laughs> That's awesome. 
DCA was not finished, so it's just a dark blob. But oh, interesting. Oh, you wrote Soren on its opening day. That's cool. I'm with you on writing again. Surprised. The wait isn't longer. Yeah, me too. That's right. So some of the F-14s haven't been used since 2006. This is contact. It's so good. I need to watch that movie if the, mu if the music is that good. The dog is great. He's great. I did, I did, I did hit, uh, I did like stab myself with his tooth. He didn't really bite me, but I'm all good now. Hey, David. David T, how's it going? The F-14 still fly on my sim. Yes, it is nice to just be walking. Yes, the Wanks, I believe that is who that is. It's just such a great mix of music. Looks like someone assembled that cue from the Rector set. <laughs> That's cool, David, for sure. It's really well done. They should reshoot the ending. Yes, I agree. Hey, little bit. Hey, Reed. <clears throat> yeah, definitely look up this loop. It's on YouTube, but also apparently on Apple Music. It's really worth it. Oh, wow, we got really far. This will be my last time. Ellen Silvestri. Well, he did Back to the Future, so that figures. Great composer. Contact is an amazing movie, but it'll break your brain. What's it about? Is it about contact like of aliens or something, or is it something else? Yeah, New England Productions, it's, it's almost a walk-on. Yeah, the orange smell's not very strong, but the evergreen smell is strong today. All right, looks like we're gonna get on the next one. Yeah, it's a just really good playlist. Please say hi to my buddy George. He's a big fan. Hi, George. Yeah, more verbally, please. It's great and good exercise. Hey, Ella. Aliens. Okay. Hello, Wonderland, Alice. That one doesn't Interstellar will. I've only seen parts of Interstellar. I saw the part where at the I guess it's at the end where the giant wave comes. That CGI is pretty good, actually. That really looks pretty real. I used to pretend to conduct the orcs for me, too. Contact is about first alien contact. Yep, Alan Silvestri. I saw the end of Interstellar because one of my students used it as one of their projects. <laughs> I read somewhere they said that you know all those movies are really cool, but there's no way that you know <laughs> interstellar travel would ever be possible. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Just so far. Oh yeah, Kelly, I can't wait. Last CD I purchased was Rivers of Light. The calf member didn't quite laugh, but snickered when I asked if there were park CDs for sale. Why not? <coughs> Based on Carl Sagan, David says, and Dan says the same thing. It's essentially uses the themes of interstellar search as a metaphor for the existence of the human spirit and soul. Interesting. That sounds deep. Hey, Kalina. This one is the land race. It definitely sounds like um, John Williams. Deep Thoughts Tuesday, yeah. We're next, guys. This is the end title from The Explorers. They keep shazamming me because I don't know them all. 
But see, like you couldn't even tell it was a different Let's song. Get the green air. Let's get to the green air. Yeah, Giovanni, my opinion, same as yours. Hey, Amara. Yeah, sure Inter Interstellar is 100 times better. Interesting, David. Yeah, well, I have to go check him out. <coughs> I've always been fascinated with space travel and all that. Hey, Jack Sparrow. Riverdale is CW. I don't think we'll ever get much farther than Mars maybe in my lifetime and even that's in question that would be cool I'm, I'm certainly not gonna <laughs> certainly not gonna sign up Sudoku glad you're going again tuned in when you were leaving yeah how long it took them to weave the songs together Dan I don't know but it's masterful it's almost like they wrote them together as a musician I can't even tell when it changes Last Starfighter that's a good one too Leo all right, RJ, enjoy. So the, the score inside the ride was composed by Jerry Goldsmith, like Brett said. Uh, he did some of the Star Trek movies and a lot of other things, but uh, this music's from all kinds of movies that was done for other things. March 1st, sending another crew up. Up to the space station? That's cool. I know they're not doing any test flights to Mars for a long time. They're still trying to figure out how to get that Starship thing not to blow up. Uh, I didn't know the playlist on Apple Music. Somebody else posted it. Oh yeah, I did like the score, David, when one of my kids posted it. Hey, she sails away. Hey, BitRitz. On Zimmer, yeah. <laughs> Hello from Japan. Hey, Vicky. Oh, gee, my favorite movie soundtrack. I don't know, it's hard. I mean, I really like Star Wars, of course, all those. But I think Back to the Future, probably one of my favorites. Pirates of the Caribbean, like, I don't know. There's so many good ones. I actually really like the Forrest Gump score, too. <laughs> Thanks, Britt. Yeah, lots of good trivia. Compliance. Here we go. And we'll take whatever we get. Let's see. Oh, well, we can ask him maybe. You mind if I do B1? Nope. There's 11, I was just counting 10 and then 11, I guess. It's the number of seats, I have no idea. We did it. Yeah, well, there you go. This will probably be my last ride on this one, so I want to make sure you get a good seat. What's that? Yeah, well, and this, this version is going away tomorrow. The California, this is the California version, the original one, so it's going away. It'll go, it'll go back to around the world tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Avengers soundtracks were great, guys. Thank you for this. It's a great way to end a really crappy workday. Enjoy watching your nighttime Epcot show. It was awesome, especially waiting till the better end to leave. Yes, that was fun. Josh is in the best section of the house, B1, top middle, and A or C. You get fisheye warping from the cup-shaped screen, and two to three levels have feet. Yep, that's it. B1 is it. B2 isn't bad, because you do have the feet. 
And the warping, Britt, do you know why the warping is not as bad in this version as around the world, the warping, the fisheye effect is really bad. I mean, the, the Eiffel Tower tends to, uh, tends to completely, like, bend. Plymouth Rock says I suck as Battleship. I love it. Yeah, so why didn't they do Around the World with better awareness of the distortion before? I think this, this version has fewer linear things. Okay. It does have the waterfall. They shot less things that have obvious straight lines that can warp. Organic things like mountains, etc., look less distorted. Okay. They have better awareness of that. AI will correct for distortion. Yeah, it might. I heard an interview with Patrick Warburton when they, Warburton, when they switched to Around the World. He was thinking they would replace him, but they didn't. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm glad they didn't. Oh, Jason, that'd be great. All right, guys, let's enjoy. Put my backpack down. During your flight and watch your children. Bienvenidos. Favor de colocar sus efectos personales en el compartimiento debajo del asiento. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón de seguridad abrochado durante el vuelo y vigilen a los niños. Esperamos que disfruten su vuelo. Oh, 
All right, let's see if we can turn this up. I remember this one ride where this one person was like this the entire time. They followed it the heck out of it. into tower. We are ready for takeoff.
one fasten your seat. All right, that was awesome. Perfect recording. Okay. Please check all rows two for awesome found. Yay! So I may post that as a separate video because that was perfect. It was perfect quality. And uh, I had uh, really nice people around me that were really quiet the whole ride. I'm sorry, I keep accidentally pushing the mute button. <laughs> I was pushing it while I was fixing the brightness. <clears throat> I'm glad I noticed right before the ride I accidentally pushed it too. I'm glad I didn't have it pushed during the ride when everybody was so super quiet. That was great. I had a good group sitting next to me. <clears throat> As most people know, there are three different endings to Over the World in California. It comes over DCA in Florida, it comes over Epcot. Well, in California, it comes over DCA in Florida, it comes over Epcot, and in Shanghai, it comes over their park. Nice. Hey, CM. The CM's here somewhere. Alright, we also had some things happen right before the video, but I didn't want to ruin the vibe here. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, no, I didn't want to talk too much. Let's see. There was a new member. I can't find it. Uh, oh, Rochelle. Rochelle Connor became a member. Thank you, Rochelle. For becoming a member. Appreciate that. That would be a great video. Yeah, I hope it would be. So I'm going to go down and... Oh, she became a bronze member. Thank you, Emma. Appreciate that. So yeah, um, I am uh, super excited to post that up. Soaring over California is a lot better. Yep. I'm going to go watch the uh, Spaceship Earth shows. I want to hear the Imagination one. I may even grab a Coke while I wait. I don't usually do that, but I'm kind of feeling it tonight. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Greg. I rode this many years ago at DC and discovered I don't do well with this type of ride. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's not, not for everybody, the simulator aspect of it. All right. So good. So goodbye, Soren. Now taking flight. These IMAX cameras. Okay. So, but now they could use drones. I would assume, right? <clears throat> they probably have like 8K drones or something they could use. <clears throat> Get amazing footage. Sound great tonight. Thanks, Ella. Yeah, it's finally. I have a little bit of glitch in the voice every once in a while, but it's finally starting to come back after four weeks. What's the RTV one scheduled for the remainder of the week? Uh, David, we. Jenna's going to be here at Epcot tomorrow, but she won't be streaming. It'll be a media event, so. Um, I don't think we'll be live again till Friday. And unfortunately, Saturday I won't be live because I have a school event all day. So, a big gala event to celebrate some things at our school and I have to have the jazz band there most of the day. Which is gonna be fun though, because the jazz band is so fun. They're awesome, awesome kids. They do a really great job. It's just a really great team. 
they mean really, really high res footage, even more than 8K, really. So the IMAX, IMAX had higher footage than 8K? Interesting. I mean, they could do helicopters again, I guess. <laughs> hey Jonas, check your local listings. That's right. Will you be riding Spaceship Earth or Grand Fiesta? Um, we'll see. Don't know yet. Probably not tonight. But we may ride them soon, so stay tuned. You do sound like you can feel better. Thanks, Indiana. I could probably do Spaceship Earth, but I'd really like to hear that imagination thing. So I have a feeling imagination is what's for Festival of the Arts, and it's going to go away tomorrow for Flower and Garden. And I love that imagination music. They play music from the original Journey into Imagination, and it's awesome. So the next show should be in eight minutes. Makes me happy that you love Soren so much. It's my favorite. I wrote it seven times in a row once in 2020 when they were shutting down. In fact, we flew out Sunday. They shut down. Wow. What's that kid doing? I don't know. TikTok dances, I guess. Oh, this is like something. Oh, no. Is that the imagination one? Probably is. Oh, well. So <laughs> We'll just wait till the next one. Hello, Canada Mike. Well, oh, battery is really, really working well tonight. I'm at 52%. I've been going for over two hours. That's one thing I don't want to get rid of this S23 for. It has great battery life. And Ron was telling me the 24 is not very good for battery life. Maybe it just needs some updates. Hi, Liz. Hi, Canada Mike. Hi, Whitney. From 8th grade band concert. He's preparing to attend festival. That's cool. You got to see your old high school band director. That's neat. I love that. What a, what a, you know, what a bond that people have with their music directors. Like that's one thing I've been really privileged to have so many kids that remember me and appreciate my, you know, just instruction, I guess, over the years or just more than anything else, just like the fact that I cared about them. Hey, Spider-Man, definitely save you a fireworks spot in Germany. Okay, Randy, we'll have to see where I get to. Thank you. Love the battery life on my S23. It's the best phone so far. Yeah, it, it's been great for me too. Only problem is just that it hangs on to those signals I don't think you'd notice that, the signal issue, in day-to-day -day use. I don't use it as a daily driver, but I don't think you'd notice that signal issue in daily use. Hey, Joey's World. Still singing Imagination. It's been a month since I last saw it. Yeah, it's such a great show. We go by Moana here. See how we're doing subscriber-wise here. Uh, yeah, so we're 36 away from 188K. I don't know if we can get 36 subscribers tonight, but we're 36 away. Uh, nothing's taking the place of Soren, Lisa, just Soren around the world. Yeah. So it's the last day of Soren over California. Well, so Soren around the world is taking its place. Third year subscribing, it's been very uh, weak three years. I don't get it. <laughs> All right. I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> 36 days till we're back in magic. Only one day this time, be at the AAK and hop to studios. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good, David. Yep, hopefully so. I feel like maybe I need to uh, wipe off my lens here. I guess that didn't really help. You guys deserve a million followers. Thanks, DNA family. Well. That would be awesome, but we'll appreciate everybody we can get. 14 days, David says. Yeah, Moana area is very nice. So again, I apologize that we didn't get a whole lot done tonight, but it's Tranquil Tuesday. And again, Soren itself is not going anywhere. It's just changing to Soren around the world. So don't worry. IMAX goes to 8K, but it's shot on film, except one digital. Oh, okay. So with the film, they can they can render it probably up to higher resolutions. I wasn't sure how that worked. Spaceship Earth is five minutes. Apparently 
they play trumpet. Awesome. Wait, so who's the prettiest girl in school? I missed that. Hey, Wire Dog Pete. Oh, there's a Mickey, hidden Mickey. That's cool. Uh, Jason, you're all good, man. I liked it. It's complicated. That's why Oppenheimer's film was 3X longer than a standard one. Oh, okay, interesting. That's awesome, El Ella. Yep, imagination, catchy song. Oh, your beautiful shot of Spaceship Earth. Okay, <laughs> I get it now. That's such a warm little like phrase there just now. What a great, what a great piece. Did we blank out or are we good? Anytime the viewers jump like that, it's like, uh-oh. Jalen Moxley gifted one membership. Thank you so much, Jalen, for gifting a membership we appreciate it and Tanina was the lucky recipient of that membership so congratulations Tanina hey Isaac in one minute we're gonna have another show we don't know what it is but it's every 10 minutes so we'll see what it is see him says iCloud storage almost full yeah I get that Shows happen every 10 minutes. Hope to see Jenna tomorrow. Yes. Thanks, Dominique. Yeah, she is feeling better. <clears throat> Yeah. 
<clears throat> wow, what a beautiful song. Very hopeful and just, I don't know, it's like that childlike hope in that song. It's so good. What an amazing song. And just to have Kermit sing it, like, you know, it's so cool. Like, you know, it, how cool when they can make, like, people get emotional about a puppet frog singing. It's pretty neat. That's when you know you've done something well, when you can make people connect to a character like that and what they're saying. It's so good. See, I may go, I got seven minutes. I may go grab a Coke real quick. Such a beautiful song. <clears throat> yeah, it's just so good. Hi, how are you? Good. Say hi. Yeah. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, what's your name? I'm Don. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. Yeah. Want to say hi. Oh, awesome, for sure. Thanks for watching. Have a nice trip. Oh, the Muppet Workshop. Jay, that's amazing. One of my uh, former students had a uh, Muppet made like him. Bum, 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 bum. Someday you will find it, the rainbow connection. By the way, I can do the Kermit voice. I cannot sing in the Kermit voice. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. I don't know. I haven't tried it. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't try it on the stream. I probably can't. I can only say a couple words in Kermit. Like, hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. I can do that. I know, I lost most of me. No, not quite. Can't quite do it. Need some more practice. That's hard. Hello. <laughs> Doesn't matter who wants it. <laughs> All right, I have it. Well, there you go. Yes, annual pass. There we go. Sorry, I don't know. Front or back? <laughs> All right. Okay. A debit card here, if I can get it out. There it is. watching the Muppet show out there on this live stream and I was trying to decide if I could sing like I can do a Kermit oh, voice but if, can I sing like Kermit I was like eh it's a little harder to sing than I to know, make the voice yeah oh yeah yeah I figure tomorrow they'll probably switch them over have a good one I'll try it on the end no I, I won't I won't bother the poor cast members <laughs> hi how are you Good. Nice to meet you. You too. Sorry, I'm like, hands are full. I'm like all awkward dropping things here. <laughs> How's it going? Good. I have a oh. gift for well, you. Oh, thank you so much. For you. I, thank I you. enjoy your live streams Aww. a lot. So. I appreciate that. Did you ladies want to say hi on the stream? Sure, sure. <laughs> oh, wait. There we go. Messed up my gimbal. What are your names? Hi, I'm Sandy. I'm Abby. Nice to meet you both. Where are you from? Uh, Pennsylvania. Okay. State College area. There you go. Yeah. That's Penn awesome. State. Oh, go Penn State. Nice. We're playing. I'm here for I, a conference for work. Oh, okay. Well, hey, it's always good when you can do a work conference at Disney. Yeah, I can. We were playing um, in jazz band. I do the jazz band. We were playing uh, Pennsylvania 6 5000, which is a Glenn Miller song. So oh, yeah? that reminded me of that when you when oh, you uh, cool. did that. So that was his wife's phone number before they met, and he wrote the song about it. So oh, that's really? the whole thing. Yeah, anyway. Random <laughs> trivia. But yeah, when you said Pennsylvania, I was like, oh, yeah, I like the song. <laughs> Very cool. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. Oh, hi. Yeah. Hmm. I do have a drink. I just got that. Not a beer. No, I'm good. Um, the Coke, but I probably would fall asleep on the way home if I drank a beer. So the Coke is probably better. You know what? I would probably eat a cookie if you don't mind. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and make it to Japan, or not Japan, Italy if I can. It's my, kind of my new, new favorite spot now. If I can make it up there, um, yeah, I'll try and message you. Yeah. If, um, but yeah, and. No, I appreciate it. If you have time, no worries. 
I'm going there for myself. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Thanks. My Kermit voice sounds as if he's drunk and very tired. <laughs> Poor Kermit. He needs to go home and get some rest. <laughs> I don't know, that's hard though. Someday I will find it. Nope, that's not, can't do it. <laughs> but, Hi, we're Kermit the Frog here. And today, we have a very special guest. <laughs> nope, I don't know. See, I can't do every word. I never really listened to him. I'm pretty good at mimicking sounds with my voice, and I'd have to really listen to him say more words. It's like I went up too high there. <clears throat> nice to meet our hopper friends there. Like, is anybody else? Does anybody else just think I'm crazy, or is this is this music really nice? I know it's repetitive, but it just I don't know. It just gets in my ear. Brett, I don't know if you're still here, but what are you thinking of the music loop so far? I can't believe Kermit is there with Josh. How do you do that? I can't do any accents at all. It becomes very vaguely Indian and Irish at the same time. Mine all sound Australian. I, I, I try and do even a British accent and it comes out, Good day, mate. It's like, nope, I can't do it. <laughs> Rochelle says, now I want a cookie. <laughs> Love the music. Isn't it great? If liking Epcot music is wrong, I don't want to be right. It's okay, I like the old music. It's not bad. Okay, there you go. Enjoy, guys.
it's so cool. That music is just so good. And what's cool about that is, you know, that's the music of the the whole park. So, I mean, you've heard it. You've heard me say it a million times, but it's really, really neat. It's definitely getting chillier here, too, but not 22 degrees. <laughs> So powerful and relaxing at the same time. It's really, really good for sure. And the Kermit voices across between Kermit and Yoda. Kermit and Yoda are very, very similar. Mmm, found someone you're already thinking. Mmm, huh? <laughs> Yoda I am. <laughs> Yoda I am. Good, how are you? <laughs> Sorry, hands full. Sorry, I got a cap in my hand. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Uh, my family's going to fun. Oh, okay. The one from Utah. Yeah, very cool. So I was like, all right, I know all these guys. I seen a couple other movies. Anyway, like, hey, that's Josh. I know he's right there. Oh, that's awesome. Like, very cool. I've been watching you guys since we have this vacation point. Okay. I've been watching you guys, and so it's like, I gotta say hi if I see him. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. You got the recorder there going. Yeah, it's like this, this whole thing. And then, of course, all the pictures you even showed us around the new opening. Yeah. That's been fantastic. Oh, it's so cool. That's so cool. I, I love this area. It's really neat. It's just, it's it's, it's very beautiful. I don't know. Yeah. I love it at night. Oh, it's so cool. This is your yeah. first time? Yeah. Well, this They're is seeing it? Time. Are you seeing the area? 17 years. Oh, wow. Okay, wow, so it's changed a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, well, good wow. Yeah, you too. Go Have a good night. Hi. Okay. Thank you. See ya. Am I retired? No, no. <laughs> I have been teaching for 21 years, but nope, I'm not retired yet. Five minutes until the Figment show. Yay. <laughs> I just love this music from the old ride. It is so, so cool. It's very orchestral. See the perfect blend between Jim Henson and Frank Oz. Ali says if Tranquil Tuesday consisted of just consisted of just watching all these evening um, shows, all these evening as the sunset, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, for sure. Okay, last minute packing. Wow, 24 hours. Nice, Amanda. Awesome. Good for you. Feels a bit dramatic, less relaxing, but I can appreciate others' enjoyment. Oh, there you go. All right, so, um, thank you so much all you do. I've been so anxious all day watching your stream. Tonight has brought a calmness to me. Love soaring over California. The music with the light show is so peaceful. Nice. You got his voice always reminded me of Grover. It's very similar, yes, to Grover in a way. All right, I'm going to put my sweater on here real quick. Not that it's that cold, but it's just breezy. <clears throat> when did you start YouTube? That's a loaded question, right? It shows that I started my channel in 2006, but we really started the main version of Resort TV One in 2015, and live stream started in 2017. And I really started trying to grow the channel in 2015, so we've been at it for a while. I'm gonna put you guys down for a second. Yeah, it's like 67, but you know, <laughs> I don't know why this breeze, breeze feels cooler. D Greenberg, yeah, we're not going to uh, ride nice success. Yeah, we're not going to uh, ride Spaceship Earth today. I want to see the Imagination show here on Spaceship Earth, and then we're going to go watch Luminous. But you know, we'll be back. We come to Epcot quite a bit. Oh, we've been pretty tranquil today. Now, at 9:30, we're going to have a it's it's National Retro Day, and at 9:30, we're going to have a Retro TV One Tech video where I show you how I installed Windows 3.1 on my iPhone. Yes, you heard me right. Windows 3.1 on the iPhone. I still have it on there. I'll show you next time. 
Will Jenna be at Epcot? Yes, Jenna will be at Epcot tomorrow, but not. she won't be live. She'll just be at Epcot for the Flower and Garden media event. Disney invited us out, and we usually don't live stream those because sometimes they have certain things or you go backstage or you, know, you just never know. So we try not to live stream those because we never know quite what we'll be doing. Like the, um, the uh, when she showed the baby elephant, she couldn't, she couldn't stream that because um, they were going backstage to show the elephant. It's been so Tuesday today. Yes, Todd. And that's a good thing. All right, one minute. The yes, S Gray Rose, it really does. Soren's not going away. It's just changing to Soren around the world. Soren over California is going away for now, but like Mara said earlier, I think it'll come back. All right, guys, enjoy the imaginations. I love watching your retro video. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah, we got like 13,000 views on the last one. I was really excited. I just really enjoy making those. It makes me really, really happy. And I actually do a lot of editing on them, so I hope you guys can see that. Um, also, I posted an Epcot stroll, an Epcot relaxing stroll. So go check that out of this new area behind Spaceship Earth. So definitely go check out my Epcot stroll. It didn't do actually as well as the retro video did, so it got like less than 5,000 views, but it's, you know, it's really cool. So hopefully people will watch it and keep watching it. It's 4K. It was a beautiful day. I filmed it on Saturday, so definitely go watch that new Epcot stroll. Good night, Priv3060. Hey, ATB. Hello, Allie. Hello, Diane. Wire Dog Pete's here, of course. I think we talked earlier, though. I never want to miss anybody. Hey, here we go, guys. Enjoy the show.
Oh, okay. Alright guys. Awesome. Wait, are we doing it right here? Get the ball. Okay, ready? Alright, wait till I'm ready. Hey, let's keep more behind you. Oh well, yeah, be safe if there's tornado warnings where you are. Wow, well, definitely be safe. All right, we're gonna head up to watch a luminous, a symphony of us. A Bali Tin game. It sounds like we missed you. Sorry about that. Sorry, it was like the chat was going fast. We crossed paths on your Friday stream. We were having dinner at Polynesian. Oh, sorry. Yeah, definitely. Um, just bad luck, I guess. Didn't want to interrupt your uh, dinner for sure. Wow, it is very, very windy. Usually windy under Spaceship Earth, but it's like gale force winds under here right now. And if you guys can probably hear it on the stream a little bit. It's so strong. Oh, I need to change uh, connections. Here, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm just gonna, I was gonna try and get my BRB ready and then I was looking, Steph had texted me, so, alright. Sorry, I was like totally distracted reading the text, but all good. Thanks for being here tonight, guys. Nice current impression. A little practice, you'll hit the bars. You're talented, I've always liked to do the same. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I don't know if I'll have time to like practice or anything, but that is, it's fun for sure. I, I, it would be fun to, to perfect it. I really would have to like practice, record myself, practice some more, and just like really get like listen to what I'm doing but yeah I don't know we'll see I'll be right back guys I'm gonna switch the connection
Let's go watch Luminous. Then at 9.30, we've got a retro video to premiere. Also, I haven't done any of the sponsors, so I'll kind of do, except for Mickey Travel, so I'll kind of do them as I go around. They help us, so we appreciate if you guys are able to uh, check them out if you ever need any of these types of services. So first of all, we have Resort TV One Homes. If you would like to find your dream home here in Central Florida, just go to our website, resorttv1homes.com. We are brokered by EXP Realty, and we'll help you find your dream home here in Central Florida. And uh, best realtors in the area, and they will help you, again, find your dream. And you can live here, live close to the magic, and have a great time. Or you can even find an investment uh, property if you want to do that. So go check it out. ResortTV1Homes.com and ResortTV1Homes on YouTube. Thank you for joining tonight. You make this community the best because you are the magic. That's right, Imara. Thanks for showing us all the shows. This is close as you can get without to being there, without being there. Yeah, for sure. Topiary Tuesday. There you go. It sure is. And I haven't seen these yet. Oh, wow. That's cool. It's Encanto. So. Not sure how far we're gonna make it. We'll see. Also, um, we have magicbandreaders.com. If you want to get your own magic band reader, just like we have here in the parks, just go to magicbandreaders.com. Again, that's magicbandreaders.com, and you can get your very own magic band reader. You can even get one that does the Spaceship Earth show. Magicbandreaders.com. It does the Spaceship Earth show, and you can get 15% off if you use the code Resort15. Again. MagicManReaders.com use the code Resort15 for 15% off. Again, that's Resort15 for 15% off your purchase. And 15% is a big deal. Or you can get a regular Magic Band Reader. Again, just go to MagicManReaders.com, use code Resort15 for 15% off. We also have wait time signs on the same website. Just go to MagicBandReaders.com slash wait. Jazzy trumpet. <laughs> Commentary on the music. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, what's our next one? Oh, Davis DVC Rentals. If you want to rent a DVC room for a fraction of the cost, just check out Davis DVC Rentals at dvcrequest.com slash TV. That's dvcrequest.com slash TV. David can help you rent a DVC room for a fraction of the cost. dvcrequest.com slash TV. And finally, we have Behind the Ride. If you want to find out how all your favorite rides were created, just go to Amazon and search for Behind the Ride. Go check that out. The Amazon Behind the Ride by David Mumpower. Thanks for all the sponsor. Oh, hey, Tanya. Good to see you. The stream looks so nice, such a beautiful night. It really is, Tanya. It really, really is. Thank you. Thanks for dropping in. Good to see you. Well, we haven't seen Tanya for a long time. We haven't, we haven't, just haven't been in the same place. I saw Robin the other day. Have not seen Tanya. We used to run into Tanya all the time. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll see you one of these days. I ran some points for Davis today. That's awesome, David. I love it that your name is also David. Let's see if we make it all the way around. Literally. Let's see what happens. Yeah. We met Ron. Oh yeah, Ron and I are good friends too. I think I met most of the streamers. 
Every once in a while I'll see one I don't know, but I never want to like go to people and be like, who are you? You know, because, you know, I don't want to be rude. I'm always out during the day while you're at school. That's true, Tanya. That is true. Our schedules are not aligned. One of these days, though. <laughs> well, it's good to see you anyway. I'm glad that you're able to do some daytime stuff. That's fun. The puppy is great. Our puppy tank is awesome. Guys, if you don't know Tanya's channel, too, she has a great channel. You can see it right there. It's her username, at Crazy Disney Lane. She is crazy in the best way. I love it. <laughs> oh, here's Anna and Elsa. Yes, I'm following the stream. I'm going to premiere a video on my retro channel because it's National Retro Day. And um, it's, I installed Windows 3.1 on my phone because why not? Ron says, always watching. See, there you go. Oh, Coda's here too. Another great channel. All right, guys, enjoy. We invite you to join us for Luminous, the symphony of us. Due to lower light levels during the show, we ask that you please watch your step and be sure to take small children by the hand. Tonight's performance of Luminous, the symphony of us will begin in just a few minutes. Tanya says there's a good burger, burger at Ale and Compass. Nice. Oh, we might not be able to get up here. It oh, looks like the bridges are closed. Okay. Let's see where I can go, hold on. Bridges are closed. Oh well, it happens.
Let's go over this. We'll go over here. It won't be quite as good, but that's all right.
we are born, we come into this world a raw noise, cradled in tenderness. We tune ourselves to the world around us.
Inevitably in life, the accompaniment drops out, and we experience great loss. We find that the melodies we cherish are gone, and for a moment, we are playing alone. When somebody loved me, everything was beautiful.
symphony of us. From all of us here at Epcot, we wish you a wonderful evening and a safe journey. Thank you so good. and good night. So good. All right, guys, I can't sit and listen to the music this time. we got to walk out because i got a premiere in 14 minutes. I just saw a girl turn around and was crying. See, it's like it's an emotional show. Like, it really is. What's that? Oh, yeah, me too. It didn't, it didn't get me as much that time because my arm was sore. <laughs> but I had to hold it up a little bit. But, yeah. but no, um, no, actually, it's still, I still love it so much. And honestly, like, I don't know. I heard um, I heard some people say, well, no, it was you guys the other day. They were talking about how, was it you that was talking about how you, you talked to somebody how the songs, the first and last song should be reversed? Yes. Or, so, or why they didn't use the first song as the end song as well. Because yeah. It's a strong song. Right. Oh, that was from the piano player, Grayson. Yeah. yeah. You know, I can see that. Maybe, or maybe even just like, a, I think it's good to end where it is. Maybe just recap the first song for a minute. Agreed. Like a, just a short little recap. Set it up. It's the beginning song, the end song. I think it would have rendered the other one unnecessary. But I don't hate the last song. To me, the last song gives me Circle of Life vibes because Circle of Life is kind of like the end of Lion King. It's not fast either. That's true. So it really has. I mean, I think it's some of the same chords. Even I think it's very Circle of Life. Okay. I, I would. I wouldn't be surprised if they ended it with a giant bass drum boom at the end. But they didn't. It's all good. I'm but sorry, yeah. They didn't email you and ask you for your. They opinion. should have done that. Yes. I don't know why they didn't. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, no, um, I like it. And I know it's not for everybody, but I really, really like it. And I think before you before you form your opinion, you have to see it in person. And the colors, uh, the screen does such a good job of showing it. But oh, yeah. But you see it in person, it really, it really doesn't have the same impact. No, you, you have to. You have the sound right you, and then when the, the fireworks go off right in front of you, when you jump six feet. Yes. We were right in front of one. I know. I, I was thankfully I was looking at my phone at the time, so I wasn't as startled as I normally am. <laughs> uh, when I watched it a few nights ago, uh, when we left you after, you know, when we saw you at Dakota. Uh, yeah. And, and I, I literally about dropped the drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Uh, that was an excellent stream of luminous. Thank you so much. Circle of life. Yeah, I don't know. Literally, I just like, like that just popped in my head. So, because usually you're right, you would end on a faster song. Yeah. But actually, we we go on with slower too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So and maybe it's like okay, okay, I got it now. It's we go on meets Circle of Life. Okay. And I what I love about I know, right? I got to wrap my brain around that. What 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 I really like about it is the way the fireworks tie with the music. When the choir comes in and they have those fireworks that like jump out of everywhere. The, the impact, like the swelling it's impact. it's very impactful I mean it's like and they drop out all the instruments except for the drums and the choir sings and they go into that big those big fireworks that kind of like rapid fi rapid fire and then they go to the hearts it's really effective the way it's all tied together yeah. Yeah, I would agree I think it's and actually somebody was saying they tweaked it I don't think they've changed it at all uh, maybe a tiny little bit but I think it's pretty much the same as it was the first night if Anything I would say, just like HEA when it was uh, was it HEA or Enchantment? Yeah, I don't remember they had pauses. Yeah, if anything they've tightened that. Up. Maybe they tightened the pauses a little bit, but yeah, I don't, I don't know that they've changed it much at all. Have you seen them put the barges in and out? I have not. I got to see them put the barges out today. I got I'm never here out. early enough, and some the days that I am here earlier, so, for whatever out. reason, sometimes they leave them out. Maybe they have difficulty or they didn't have time or who and knows. But yeah. When it's more crowded on the weekends, they don't want to take the time to. And that could be as well. Yeah, they, they, I'm sure they, you know, I'm sure they have reasons for, but the good news is they can take them out. Yes. I, I, you know, I don't, I'm not that upset if they don't do it one day, but they can do it. You know, and they're not as big and bulky as the um, harmonious ones. No, well, the harmonious ones, they had no room for them. No. Uh, oh, yes, this is it. This is Jenna's song, Padawan Harpy. Yes. <laughs> How's Jenna feeling? She's, she's good. She just had, she just like kind of comes and goes a little bit. Yes, tomorrow she'll be here. I'll be here in the morning, but I will okay. be tomorrow. She's not gonna. She's not gonna stream, but yeah. Well, thanks, Wendy. There's no change to the show. I've seen it a couple times. Yeah, Ron. Ron has seen it a couple times. That's what I was thinking. Now, here's what. Here's. I will say that that was, whoever said that was a valid comment 
because sometimes I feel like we perceive the shows differently each time. And I feel that way. Like the very first time, I wasn't sure. And you could hear me at the end. I wanted so bad to like it, and I couldn't do it. I didn't hate it, but I wasn't like, yay. I was kind of like, okay. Well, when there's, when there's, when the, the majority of the show is unfamiliar songs. Yeah. You know, yeah, like CM is next to me, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you all are sick of me. I'm not really. No, not at all. So, no, I. I've been, I've been around for too much. <laughs> no. Hey, good for you that you had such a long trip. I love Harmonious we too. Were, when we were talking about it, it turned out <coughs> she didn't really know a lot of the music that it was on. Like she had never seen Coco, and she had never yeah. seen. Yeah. Oh, so then uh, she didn't know, connect, with the, she didn't connect with the music. Yeah, that makes sense. The show went on too long because all of the segments were so long. Oh yeah. Those I was like, oh, I get it, you know. And even this song is really good and it's original. Yes. yes. Like I can appreciate first of all the creativity of writing all new songs. Yes. Like yeah, they did include, of course, some movie songs and stuff. But I think they gave everybody what they wanted. Like they, the management still wanted like IP songs in there to make all the casual Disney fans connect with it. Yes. You put Frozen Two in there. You put all that. But then you've got making the classic fans happy because you've got new songs. I do think this is starting to be a Disney formula. Yeah. Uh, like an intro song and maybe an extra, an extra song. What's the end of it? Finale. Finale. Thank you. Um, that are original. Or the same one, you know what I mean, original, and then everything yeah. in the middle, all the stuff that is popular and familiar right. uh, at the time. But like Disneyland's got Wondrous Journeys and the World of Color uh, Start Away, which is an amazing song. Yeah. Uh, and Enchantment has whatever they call that song. Happily Ever After. Yeah, for sure. Um, and ATB says, I agree, sometimes it, it hits you different depending on your mood. Yeah, so. The very first time I saw it, like I said, there were very kind of loud, distracting people around us. And like, these girls, I think, had had a little bit too much to drink and they were just being loud. And, you know, it's fine. It happens. It's Epcot. But it just distracted me from the show the first time. And when I really saw it a second time, number one, I knew what to expect. And number two, I connected with it. And finally, I was like, okay, I get it. And then the third time, I connected with it even more. And it's just, you know, I just loved it ever since then. So yeah, anyway, it's fun stuff. I love it. Um, two or 23 times. I didn't like it the first time. Too much talking. I, I think the talking is necessary to understand it. <clears throat> I don't know. It's, well, it's telling a story. Yeah, it is telling and, a story. And literally every single one of the Disney nighttime shows talks for a second to tell the story, to set it up, right. to close it out. Illuminations only talked at the beginning, I believe. And the, then there was words to the song. Yeah. In the end. The last right. Song, right? The la we go on. Yeah. But I will say, and Jiminy Cricket narrated with you know wishes. Yep. I will say like the narrator in, in Luminous does a really good job. She is, I think, her voice and the sad part that makes it because she's very emotional through that, yeah. and she does a great job of being like connecting. connecting. <laughs> it's almost like she's she's not crying, but she's like almost like I don't know. Her voice is so close to crying that it's almost there, yeah. which is cool. Like, I couldn't get my voice that close to crying without actually doing it. So anyway, good stuff, guys. I know drinking in Epcot, I don't believe it, right? It's so, it's so surprising. But, um, guys, I am going to shift you over to our premiere video here in just a minute. Again, I'm premiering. Uh, it's, it's National Retro Day. And in honor of that, I am premiering a video where I put Windows 3.1 on my iPhone. Um, I really did. And there's really no good reason. It's just because I can. It's just fun. It's one of those things that, because it works. Here, I'm not gonna, sh oh, you guys will have to watch the video. I'll show CM and she can vouch for you. There you go. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> the, mouse, the mouse even works. Look at that. I'm gonna use the mouse. It's really on there. So there you go. All the nerdy things, Josh. Of all the nerdy things. I was like, I bet I could. Yep, I sure can. Go me. Try out my Kermit voice. <laughs> Hi-ho, everybody. Right, that was Yoda. Hi-ho, Kermit the Frog here. Please go watch the retro premiere later tonight. Yay! That's close enough. Close enough. It goes into Yoda. 
Oh, thanks. <laughs> it goes into Yoda every once in a while. Kermit and Yoda cross they a little are, bit. They cross a lot then. Yeah. And I love this song too, guys. I'm just really good at like mimicking sounds. I guess I was I'm blessed or cursed with really good ears. <laughs> Go figure, and I do music, right? <laughs> And I appreciate, listen, if people were saying that they didn't like it, you know, I appreciate that because that's your opinion and that's totally fine. Um, I would just say if you've seen it in person and you don't like it, totally cool. Again, like Sandra said, that's art and that's how art works. And I, I agree with that 100%. Everybody's not going to like it. Just like everybody didn't like Illuminations, everybody didn't like Happily Ever After, everybody didn't like Wishes, you know, I, and I'm sure there were people that didn't like those. I didn't like... Probably not many, but... I still don't like Happily ever after, as much as I like enchantment. And ah, I know that's unpopular. But, but that's your opinion. But that's my opinion. And that's valid because <laughs> it's your opinion. It's not that I hate happily ever after. I just don't like it as much. Yeah. One little spot. <laughs> oh, I love Epcot Forever too, just because of the, the history of it. Anyway, thanks guys for being with me. And again, I would appreciate everybody coming over and checking out the retro. It's only like 20 minutes long, 23 minutes. Um, so definitely, um, you know. Hang out for that because it's a lot of fun. And if you're curious, like, how in the world did we do it? Well, I'll show you. <laughs> and even if you want to do it on your iPhone, all you need is an iPhone and a computer. So you can do it. And I bet a lot of people haven't. You can even do it on Samsung. <laughs> Too much talking, great show. Yeah. And that's, a, that's again, that's a valid opinion. Like, for me, the talking, it works and I think it's fine, but I could see how some people could think it's too much. So that's a fair point. We read Figment today, the kids love the book. I love that book, Bit Ritz, it's a great book. Ooh. Yes, yeah, we got it for Liam. All right guys, two minutes, I gotta say good night. So good night everybody, thank you for watching. Again, check out all the awesome sponsors, we'll see you Friday Night Live, definitely don't, don't miss it, Friday Night Live. Um, we'll tell you where we're gonna be, but I think you can probably figure it out based on what's going on. <laughs> so anyway, let me come over here on the light and I will say good night to you guys. Hi. <laughs> My friend follows you. Oh, that's awesome. He just told me, oh, no, I followed him. Very cool. Oh, no worries. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to try and not be in the way here and I'm going to say good night. So thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next time. So, all right, everybody. Wow, I've got like, it's like a selfie cam light here. It's awesome. All right, so stay tuned to watch the retro video. We'll see you in just a minute. Thanks, thanks, Coda. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Ron, and that crazy Disney lady, Park Hoppers, all of our good friends. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you all. Thank you, Hoppers. Thank you, Moppers. Thank you, members. Big thank you to my wife for just doing everything she does so I can do this. Love all you guys. We'll see you next time. So for now, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.